the high guard is a position which you see in both the lowest and highest levels of competition. It consists of putting your forearms and hands in front of your face, shrugging your shoulders, and curling your back to better take blows head on. The high guard itself, while being a strong defensive position, is only as effective as the person using it and their ability to mix other tactics in with it. Many times we see the high guard is used as a last line of static defense against an upcoming assault. While that may block some strikes, it leaves one open to angle changes and hand traps. To avoid this, we must involve more techniques into its use, both defensive and offensive. The levels of proficiency in using the high guard can be seen by the amount of tactics added when using it. While at a lower level, one may stand static and commit to the guard, later in development, we may add new threats to slow an opponent down and add pressure in future engagements. Canelo, being as high level as a user of the high guard can be, mixes in an assortment of extra defensive and offensive tactics to help with his now pressure heavy high guard game. The aggressive defense. Something that we've seen in both boxing and mixed martial arts is the use of the high guard to back an opponent up. This, although not being a new development, has been used rarely at a high level due to how the high guard is used mainly as a last resort instead of an intelligent defense used throughout the match. Part of the intelligent use of the high guard is using it as an offensive stance. The high guard acts as a front facing shield of sorts. This is an effective tactic as long as an opponent doesn't attack around the side of the shield or use footwork to move around it. Part of being able to limit your opponent's options is pressuring them backwards. Canelo will slowly back his target towards the ropes while using the high guard in range. This posture, even while being aggressive and moving forward, convinces an opponent to open up with strikes. Canelo uses this engagement to learn his opponent's timing while deflecting blows off of his elbows, forearms, and gloves. Once the timing is learned, he will then begin to land counter blows on the opponent's engagements, creating more pressure while pushing the opponent further back. Once the rhythm has been set, Canelo will continue to deflect, counter, and pressure until the opponent reaches the ropes or corner. It is natural for one to back away from a pressuring opponent, however, when one runs out of room, they must circle away. This is where Canelo will allow his opponents to move into his strikes because of their insistence to leave the close range. By keeping consistent movement and shutting off the opponent's options, Canelo will continue to increase the pressure throughout a match while tiring the opponent out and landing his own powerful strikes. Incorporating Frames a major part of Canelo's pressure is his inclusion of framing and how he uses it to limit his opponent's game even further. While Canelo uses frames to defend strikes often, I am much more interested in explaining how he uses them to pin his opponent and their limbs. By pinning his opponent's lead arm, he will attack with rear-handed blows behind the lead elbow to the kidney or go over the shoulder to the head. His lead arm will be used to pin, however, if an opponent shells up, he will use the passivity to engage with further offense. The frame limits the opponent so much so that while it is active and aggressive opponent's attacks become far more avoidable compared to if they had both hands free. Once he pins an opponent to the ropes or the corner, he uses a mixture of pushing hooks, stiff arms, and frames to keep an opponent's balance disrupted reducing their chances to properly defend themselves. Countering Long Range Punching While long range blows can be blocked and deflected, an opponent won't really care unless they are punished for these attacks. To do this, Canelo prefers to attack with lead hooks and rear crosses or overhands to counter the straight shots. Although his high guard is effective at medium and long range, his head movement is what opens his opponent up to be hit with these counters. Countering the infight. 
To counter the larger variety of middle to close range blows, Canelo's guard becomes more active as he willingly moves it to where it needs to be for certain strikes. While attacking the body is a constant of Canelo, his attacks up close are some of the most effective bodywork he does. His most effective up close attack plan is when his opponent decides to pressure directly into him with a high guard. If they don't pressure heavily, he will tend to go for the lead hook to the body. However, when the pressure is heavy, he likes to open the path for the lead hook through an uppercut into the guard. This causes an opponent to tighten up down the middle, opening both the head and the liver up to the lead hook. If an opponent ties up his arm, he will normally angle off and attack with an uppercut or a lead hook.